Hi guys, Mr. Rain here. This video we're going to be grabbing the 5 o'clock trophy achievement. It's not actually 5 o'clock tea party trophy, it's 5 o'clock trophy. But this is going to be in the Tega level, and we're going to go ahead into the Admiral's office, and we're going to sit down for, according to my stopwatch, 8 minutes and 27 seconds. And that is from the time I actually sit on the chair, so when I activate the chair. But uh, other than that, it's just a funny, funny 10 minutes. Uh, there's a postcard there. It's from the collectibles guide. Uh, it's a funny 10 minutes. Uh, he's a bit loopy, as you can imagine. And you can have a smoke, have a drink, and uh, play some guitar. But guys, I'm going to let this play out. And I'm going to get editing on my 92 collectibles video. So thanks for watching, guys. I want to catch you on the next one. Am I right or what, senor? You're always right, Admiral, sir. Uh, put a sock in it. Your nose is brown enough. Where was I? Ah, the bandit. Well, you're here. Which means that all those spineless worms and wannabe pirates are all dead. Am I right? Don't bother answering. Everyone knows I'm right. And good riddance, I say. Perhaps we should offer him our hospitality, Admiral, sir. He is a guest, even though he's a bandit. Ah, that's an idea. Take a seat, bandit. Let's have some tea. I bet you never tried anything quite like it. I gathered, dried, and brewed it myself. Can't get any help from this worthless lot. At least, they don't eat much. Hey, boys! Yeah! Trying our best, Admiral, sir! <sighs> ah, quit your yapping! Making a worse racket than the damn aquas in heat! No respect for our guest, either! He can't get a word in edgewise! <sighs> Don't mind them! To our meeting! <sighs> That's a good tea! The fussy, ground-loving rats don't drink it, though. <sighs> radiation! Radiation! Radiation, my ass! Radiation! Just look at us! Dangerous. We're all healthy as can be! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming here. See how happy my boys are? We don't really have anyone to talk to here anymore. We're all the forgotten here. Even Roman forgot about us. Yet he was here with us when we built this base. All the boys remember that. Don't you now? Yes, he was here! I remember. We all remember. That's right, boys. You all remember. But that bastard just forgot! And the other ground-loving rats, too! They all forgot we're protecting them all with our lives here. At first, they were so happy. They shouted, We'll kill all the bandits! The pioneers are cowards! The teacher is wrong! We're better off attacking! Didn't they, boys? Yeah, they did! They shouted their throats sore! Yeah, louder than those bandits we shot! There you have it! My boys do remember! And those don't! You could always count on them when you wanted someone to shout and call pioneers names! Aye, but when the going got tough and the Aquas started attacking in their hundreds, they change their tune. Oh, radiation! Oh, it's dangerous! Oh, the girls say teacher told them to tell us that we have to get out! Well, fighting the Aquas and this fun as hanging bandits from the posts. You can rob the bandits when you kill them, but mutants don't have much worth taking. So who cares if they're about to eat the whole valley, right? Pathetic rats. That's who rats. they are. Ground loving rats. A bit late to start listening to the teacher, too. Though, those rats don't care whom they listen to. Be it teacher or the girls. If doing so gives them an excuse for chickening out. Even the pioneers.
pioneers have more spine than that sly. <sighs> they followed Ludmila to the dam. They were going to take the tunnels and then go along the reservoir, those adventurers. I've no idea if they actually got anywhere. But they weren't afraid of no radiation, that's for certain. Well, the only person who still has balls in that sorry lot is Olga. She did visit us a lot here, and she always thrashed those cowards at council sessions. Visit us, my ass! It's you who she visit! Yeah, right. Me! Though, if not for my spine wound, Olga and I would have turned this valley upside down. But now, who needs a cripple? To hell with her! A woman on a ship is bad luck. Besides, we stayed with you. Yes, my boys did stay here. I had to do some persuading to make them stay, though. Even you were going to abandon your old friend, weren't you? Weren't you? Come on, Admiral, sir. We'd never do that. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Tell that to this new guy. He seems to be all ears. But I can read you all like a book. And I say, you are going to leave me. <sighs> and had I not brewed my tea extra super strong that day, you would have. No doubt about that. Hey, careful with the guitar. Got it, sir. I'll be careful. Come on, remember, this thing is an instrument. Yes, sir, an instrument. What the hell is up with you today? Do you want to scrub the deck so bad? Sorry, Admiral. Don't be sorry. Be better. How about you play something instead of dropping that guitar? I'd go for a shanty. Yes, Admiral. One shanty oh, coming up. Oh, oh, hell. You're all brown loving rats. Rats. Yes, I've been thinking. Why don't we have a smoke? I say we should. This tea is as good for smoking as it is for brewing. It can also cure any sickness and solve your marital problems. <laughs> this smell is an acquired taste, but I like it a lot. And my boys here don't have any problems with it. Not anymore. Thank you. 